Joe Biden tried to do a little bit of revisionist history when it comes to his own record in regard to same sex marriage. Now, during a recent interview with Cal Penn, he claims that he had an epiphany when he was in high school huh. about the importance of ensuring there's equality for all when it comes to this issue. During the conversation, Cal Penn asked him this, you codified support for same sex marriage and interracial marriages like ours. I'm curious what your evolution was like on marriage equality and what the federal government might be able to do to protect LGBTQ Americans, especially trans kids who are dealing with all these regressive state laws that are popping up right now. Well, Joe Biden responds with, I can remember exactly when my epiphany was. Oh, okay, oh, can't wait, all right, okay. it must have been around mm -hmm. you know, 2013. Yeah, right. except that's not what he says. Hmm. My dad was dropping me off and I remember I'm about to get out of the car and I look to my right and two well-dressed men in suits kissed each other. So corn pop was not involved, okay, <laughs> apparently two well-dressed guys <laughs> kissing. I mean, like gave each other a kiss. And I'll never forget it. I turned and looked at my dad and he said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other, it's simple. No, I'm not joking, it's simple, they love each other. And then he continues to say, it doesn't matter, matter whether it's same sex or a heterosexual couple, you should be able to be married. What is the problem? Well, Joey, let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is you did not support same sex marriage. You didn't support it back in 20, 2006, for instance, uh, when you said this. The president used his radio address uh, yesterday and tomorrow in the Rose Garden to talk about a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. You know, think about this. The world's going to Hades in a handbasket. We are desperately concerned about the circumstance relating to uh, avian flu, we don't have enough vaccines, we don't have enough police officers, and we're gonna debate the next three weeks, I'm told, gay marriage, a flag amendment, and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What happened to that high school epiphany you had, Biden? It's really simple, Joey. It's really simple. They just love each other. They just love each other. Okay, no joke. No joke. No joke. No joke. Okay, but uh, apparently, forty some odd years later, he's like. Now remember, only man and women, okay? We don't want any of that man and man stuff. This country is going to Hades. What in, a, in a hell basket. In a hell basket. No, no, in a hand basket. In a hand basket. Okay, <laughs> but you look, maybe in 2006, like after that interview, he realized he was wrong and he immediately changed his position. Except um, on the debate stage, when he was debating against Sarah Palin in 2008, um, he had similar ideas. Let's watch. Do you support gay marriage? No, Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. Oh, didn't support it in 2008 either. And he did mention Obama, which is important because Obama also did not support same sex marriage until he was running for reelection in 2012. I wonder why that is. Could it be, oh look, a Politico headline from May 9th, 2011, Gay donors fuel Obama's 2012 bid. In fact, it was a story that Jenk covered back in the day when the first hour wasn't as good because I wasn't included. But this was a good story that Jenk did, so why don't we watch? He was at an LGBT fundraising event. And you see, I, this is already an amazing part of the story. And he sees a family out here in California, in Los Angeles, and a couple with the, that are gay with two kids, right? And he comes out and says, you know what, damn it to hell, I think I'm in favor of gay marriage. Isn't that amazing? Like what you didn't realize was that there was gay couples and they have kids and they're in a perfectly loving relationship. You didn't realize that? I mean, you're vice president. What are you like 98? How did you not? But they but like he walks in and he's like, oh wow, how oh, sick the Lord, you guys are gay? This looks like a normal family. What the hell? Now it probably didn't hurt that it was a fundraising event, right? So, but nonetheless, they say that was the thing that precipitated him 
turning around and saying that he's definitely for gay marriage. We know that he's gonna do it before the election because there was strategy notes on it. We covered this for a long time during the campaign. He was not getting enough money from his traditional donors on Wall Street. So he needed to get more money from gay donors, gay rights donors. Honestly, that's what happened during the campaign. And eventually 20% of his bundlers were gay rights donors, okay? Man, I gotta say, just looking back at the Obama administration and just how much they cared about donors above all else is just so incredibly depressing. Right, I don't have fond memories of the Obama era, but just going back and remembering all these details just makes me sick to my stomach. So Anna, you wonder sometimes why I get so worked up on the show because I've got I've gone through 21 years of gaslighting. So when I said Obama was changing his position on gay marriage because now 20% of his bundlers were gay rights donors and they he'd switched from the bankers to the gay rights donors, people were outraged. It's how dare you? That's that's I mean, just say that Obama would be moved by money. And by the way, number one donors in 2008, bankers. And guess who got giant bailouts? The bankers. But no, you're not allowed to say that about Democrats. You can say it about Republicans, you can't say it about Democrats. Now back to Biden. In 1973, um, 10 years after little Joey and his dad ran into those Bartholomew and Winthrop. The well, the very well dressed yes. gay guys who were kissing. Yes. yes. Uh, they had in, to be well dressed. And by the way, what, in, around in the 1950s, they kissed in public. But they and were wearing And your suits. dad in the 1950s in Scranton, Pennsylvania was like, oh, it's okay, Joey. They just love each other. That's all. It's that simple. No joke. Okay. It definitely happened. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure that happened. By the way, I can't, all right, whatever. In 1973, <laughs> just a little decade, I'm now reading for media. I did a good job of covering the story. And just a little over a decade after Biden's epiphany, he said that his gut reaction was that to believe that homosexuals in the military and government pose, quote, security risks to the country. That gay people were a security risk just because they were gay and could not be allowed in the government or the military. He said that 10 years after his epiphany on how gay marriage was okay. He's an obvious massive liar. So if you watch Fox News, you think Donald Trump is honest. It's the Democrats that are liars, right? You watch MSNBC and you think, oh, Joe Biden is super honest. Barack Obama is super honest. Donald Trump's the only liar. The Republicans are the only liars. No, they're all liars. You know, Biden told a story about how he got arrested with Nelson Mandela yeah. during apartheid. If Donald Trump had told that lie, that's all you'd have ever heard about, right? Biden says it, not a peep. Yeah. He's a giant, outrageous liar. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.